Good morning. Welcome back in to Wake Up America. Happy Friday to you. Finally Friday, Super Bowl weekend. Uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci has been in the news, if you haven't noticed, a lot over the last 12 months. He is the highest paid doctor in the federal government. That's not a surprise. But he's also the highest paid federal employee, and there are four million federal employees. He makes more than the President of the United States. And joining us now to talk about this is the CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Angievsky. I believe I said that correctly. Yes? You did a great job, Neil. Okay, great good. to join the program Woo. this morning. It's nope. absolutely incredible yeah. that Dr. Anthony Fauci out earns everybody at the federal level, the number one most highly compensated federal employee, as you mentioned, according to our Freedom of Information Act request, out of four million government bureaucrats, administrators, and employees. It wouldn't matter, by the way, if this guy, because let's, let's be honest, doctors in private practice, uh, it's like uh, public defenders, you know, uh, lawyers that, you know, just work uh, in the, you know, ADAs, things, people like that. They don't make as much as attorneys in private practice. You know, a lot of doctors are making seven figures a year. So, you know, by that measuring stick, Dr. Fauci could be making a lot more money. But the fact that he's been out in public. For so many months now, this guy has never met a camera that he doesn't want to go in front of and speak in front of. Uh, it's, it, that, that's just the way it's been. Um, that's why so many people are calling this ridiculous. Well, we, uh, we actually, there's a database on the government website that details out his public uh, appearances, speeches, radio interviews, podcasts, uh, TV interviews, and we've quantified 223 interviews since the pandemic hit. So here's the question. This guy's out earning everybody. He's out earning 30,000 doctors at the VA and, and Health and Human Services. He's out earning all 4 million, you know, 2.1 million federal executive agency employees, 1.4 million members of our civilian uh, and, and military members, uh, 500,000 workers over at the post office. He's out earning all of them. Yet, you know, he is, he's given 223 media appearances. He's supposed to be the top scientist. He's supposed to be advising the president of the United States. He's advised every president back to Ronald Reagan. And yet he's out on a constant media tour. When does he have time to learn the science? Adam, were you, I, I agree with that premise, by the way, the misinformation that's come from Dr. Fauci. And what bothers me is that people will say, people that, that, I, that I, I have worked with will be like, well, you know, it's, it's a virus and it's fluid and it's always evolving. And he should, this is somebody that's been in the bureaucracy since the 1980s. He worked on HIV under Reagan in the early 80s. He was uh, part of the unsuccessful attempt to, to find a vaccine for HIV. Um, this is somebody that had said in an interview five years ago that, well, my biggest fear is a flu-like pandemic uh, where everyone would have to wear masks. Well, why, when this happened in February and March, didn't he immediately come out and say, listen, I know it's going to be awful. We all got to wear masks. Here's the messaging. Everyone's got to wear masks. Instead, he said, if you're healthy, you don't have to wear a mask. The CDC, the World Health Organization put out bad information. People read, took that bad information as gospel. And now here we are 12 months later, 450,000 Americans are dead. So just on masks, uh, originally he was uh, he came out with comments that seemed that he was against wearing masks. Then he was for merit, uh, wearing masks. Then he was for wearing two masks. Now the latest headline from him says there's no science to, to justify one. two masks. Right. So look, we went back at his salary history, Neil. We took a look at what he was earning from 2010 all the way now to 2020. And we'll break some news here. We've, from a spokesman, his 2020 salary is even higher than what we reported at 417000 in 2019. He's making $434,000.